It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Holloway, to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go through anything to accomplish his goals. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the famed canvas here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, the Eraser. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond Warrior! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch guards is my fault. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Whoa! These are bad. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He is all about that left kick to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. That was a thudding leg kick. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you hit him in the body that clean. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Poirier. Nice job of hiding that head kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. 
Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. A little struggle. Nice entry. Right up into the face. Nice. Entry. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Just a slip there. Got the center follow passes. Nice punch lands over the top. Massive knee lands from the side punch. Fourier's kick to the body. That one blocked. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 90 seconds to go. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. to the body here, blocked by Dustin Poirier. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. And they separate. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Keeping busy here on the clinch. Oh, collar tie. When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown follows. 20 seconds left. Beautiful kick. Ten seconds to go. Whoa! So a strong five minutes down. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Oh, that's a nice strike. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch from the clinch. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Some nice back and forth action here. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. That shot blocked by Dustin Poirier. Goes back to that left kick once again. Head kick. Protect 
whiffs on that offering. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? He's attacking guilty. Oh, countering it looks like with a bottom flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Great punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Poirier gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Single collar tie there. And they separate. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Able to check the high kick. Great punch landing with so much power. The single collar tie now. to the former interim lightweight champ Dustin Poirier in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's fight that federal. He looks like he would never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Big kick land. That one certainly found the target. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just missed with the left there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Head kick. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too. Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he hurt him. Nice strike. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. And both guys really throwing with authority. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Nice straight punch. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. 
And he landed the right hand there. Connects now with the one-two. What oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying. Because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Let him go. Let him go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, big punch land. Knee to the body. Beautiful head kick. Left hand punch with the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying out. Beautiful take down land. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Poirier gets back up again. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dustin Poirier. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those oh! oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game possible. And he short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 12 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Timer. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.